Hey guys, what's up? So I know that lots of you, including definitely me, are very often frustrated because it seems like that coding interview works perfectly, but we don't get the offer. Or maybe you get a job offer and when you get there and start coding, you see that a lot of code reviews are getting pushed back at you because the code is not good enough or not clean enough or the time complexity is not good and many, many reasons. The good news is that we are here to help. Mircea, co-founder at Algo Academy and coding master with a background experience of 15 years, I think, of coding, just made a video in which he solves a problem on Algo Academy, where he starts from a piece of code that's not that clean and not that good, and you will see him step by step improving that code until it gets accepted, and then, even bonus, he will start from scratch, from zero, and teach you how to learn to write good, efficient code with the use of our step coding tutorials on Elgo Academy. So enjoy the lesson, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Elgopedia, and also, if you feel ready, don't forget to solve the problem, you got the link in the bio, you can try to solve it yourself, and then, why not, if you're ready enough, make a premium account on Elgo Academy, and let's make that 10x software engineer career right now. Enjoy. Hey guys, many of you have been asking me how to improve your coding skills, and I want to share how I approach this and how Algo Academy can help. Let's see this problem here where you need to rotate k times to the right an array using constant extra memory. This means that you cannot uh, declare another array. Uh, we have this uh, implementation here. Um, the, the idea is that I have a while loop which basically I start at index 0 and I want to place it at its correct place, at its correct index, which is 0 plus k. And then I go to index k and I want to place that one at the correct place, which is k plus k, and so on, until I basically get back to 0. If you uh, look at a smaller input, it looks like this would uh, help, uh, this would solve the problem. But when you take a larger one, you'll notice that uh, you start at 0, you get back at 0. Uh, but not all the numbers will be moved. So what you can do is split the, the array into multiple uh, uh, cycle, cycles and solve each of them. And uh, that's what I'm doing with the starting with the for loop uh, by initializing start index. I try start index at zero, at one, and so on until all the uh, numbers have been moved. So let's submit this and. The first thing we see here is that uh, it tells us bad uh, mov d is a bad variable name. And if we go down, uh, it tells us that correctness is good, is okay, which means that it passed all the test cases. So the code is working well. But we have bad variable names here failed, and also code complexity failed. So it tells us that the code is uh, too complex. It can be it can be uh, made a lot easier uh, to to follow, to read, and to test. So first of all, let's uh, fix this uh, variable name. Um, it tells us the the number of numbers that I moved so far. So move numbers would be better variable naming for that. And okay, we submit. And now we see that uh, we got okay for variable naming. And we still have to fix this uh, code complexity issue. One thing that we notice is we have, uh, we, we calculate next index here and also next index here. It's the same code basically. One way is to move it into a function and call it uh, in the two places. But ideally you'd want to uh, have it uh, um, computed only once. So we can do that, we can erase it from here. We erase this uh, condition from here, from the while loop, um, here. We need to declare next index, so we'll add a let in front of it. And because I don't know um, uh, next index and I cannot write that uh, condition in the while loop I'll have to add uh, an if statement at the end so if the current index is equal to start index we break the loop let's submit and notice that now we have 0 0.6 before we had 0 0.5 so we improve the code complexity what can we do further um 
we have we have the sieve uh, that we could uh, remove uh, by doing this by uh, taking the reminder uh, basically using the module operator so we just delete this so now instead of having that if uh, and when you're looking at that code you basically you you need to think oh um, does the condition apply if so do i get inside of it um, it's uh, over complicated you know but doing this we have just one line you don't have to think much oh it's it's doing this it's taking the it's adding k and if it goes over the the the, the array we basically uh, put it in front in front of it let's submit again and now we got 0 0.75, which is better. So let's say we don't know how to improve it further. And what AlgoHeadMe has is uh, this coding tutorial here. I'll reset it so the code will be erased. And we can follow the, the tutorial. So it tells me to declare a variable n index and start index. OK, so we'll do just that. Let n equals nums length index is zero and start index is also zero and we validate the step okay so we got everything is is uh, correct is okay accepted so we have this next step the step two um and let's say we don't know how to do to iterate n times and we have this c code hint here and you it basically shows you how to do it but the the interesting part is that you don't have to write it exactly like this. So I can write, I can use uh, from one to n, and I can increment it like plus plus i, and also have the bracket on the next line. So instead of using uh, iterate from zero to n minus one, and having i plus plus, and also the bracket here, I uh, I basically changed up it, but the outcome the what it does it's the same thing right if it asks me to iterate n times this is what i'm doing so we got correct uh we got accepted now it tells me to declare another uh variable next index and initialize it with the correct index which is plus k and let's say we use the previous uh previous method, previous way of doing things. If it's um, if it exceeds n, then we um, subtract n and we validate. Okay, so the correctness is okay. This means that uh, what I wrote is correct. It works. But we fail at code complexity. And we, if you look at the C code hint, it tells us a better way of doing it. So let's remove this if, and we do this. And let's say I have a bug. I add by accident plus one here. Um, so I get I get a wrong answer or sometimes a runtime a runtime error, but it basically tells me that I did something wrong. And I do have here input and output, but it doesn't matter so much. In this case, I know the bug, so I fix it. So we get accepted again. Now it tells me to swap uh, the two numbers. Uh, in, in JavaScript, we can use syntactic sugar and we can do something like this. We basically uh, use this, this uh, the constructing, I believe it's called, or this, yeah. Um, start index equals numbers, start index and numbers next index okay and let's see okay so everything is good update index to net next index uh, next uh, index equals next index and we check if index is equal to start index and if so we increment index and start index right Uh, oh, I forgot to increment it, you see. Okay, so it tells me that I finished the tutorial. 
I can see the source code that it was intended. Um, but in any case, uh, you can see that uh, the code is now much simpler, much cleaner, uh, much easier to follow and much easier to test. And by applying this technique over and over, you'll get better at writing quality code from the get-go. Hope this helps um, and see you next time.